Well, we were talking about this last class. Don't throw your punches from here. Does that look believable at all? Look at my posture. Okay. People get aggressive, right? And you can kind of, if you really look at it, you can change what people think of by the posture. If I come in like this, okay, move my head a little bit, you're like, oh, I might be a boxer, right? You know? If I come in like this, what do you think I might be? Well, yeah, right? If I come in and I go, you can kind of see what I'm going to do, right? You see what kind of style that I'm going to do. You know, if they come in and they're like, you know, <laughs> uh, but anyway, but there's different styles. But a lot of times, if you want a good bad guy, you got to kind of stand like a brawler. You know, you get that, they put their hands way back, they don't fight right. And as a cop, I have dropped many guys who fight like that. And it's so great to see an untrained person. The people that are a little scarier are the ones with training, right? If someone puts their hands up with me like this, starts moving, I'm like, oh, okay, all righty. But most of the time, people swing with big haymakers, right? So you have two kinds of strikes. You have straight punches that are straight, that come straight and pop. Then you have these hooks that come around, or uppercuts, right? So the trained ones look like this. Trained hooks don't follow through. Trained hooks stop because you want to cover your face. You want rapid fire strikes and have someone, you know, just in a barrage. Untrained people go, <clears throat> and they miss. When they miss, it seems like forever that they're in that position to me so I can just light them up. <laughs> but for this, I'm going to be the bad guy. Luke, what I want you to do is block this forearm, okay? And he's going to punch with this hand. This is going to be my face. Just for right now, just for practice, okay? We're not going to do this. Block. Great. Now I'm going to punch. Whew. We're going to do something a little more flashy. In Kung Fu, they have this thing called same, uh, same time defense, same time strike. Then still die dark, okay? So what's going to happen is he's going to block, slow motion, block and punch at the same time. Boom. Right? So I'm the bad guy. Ugh. He blocks. Get a little harder. Get a little harder. A little harder. Boom. Ooh. See that? I walk in. Boom. I'd be like, but I swung. My fist was supposed to hit his face, but my face exploded. What? That's very <laughs> strange. So I come in. Bang! And if you want to get Kung fu -y, this comes from Wing Chun. You can open his hand. If you want your hero to look a little more martial artsy, it's called the Tan Sao Block forearm. He can do a vertical fist, which is very Kung fu -y. So from here, slow motion. Boom. Boom. See? Boom! Now, we're going to move on. That's not all we're going to do. We're going to add another one. So he blocks. He strikes. This is going to look cool because he's going to punch with this hand next. Okay? Here's the secret. He's going to make a fist, and he's going to punch here and trade hands. Okay? So it looks like this. It's not hit, pull back, and hit. Pulling back, telegraphing is what novices do, is what untrained people do. Your bad guys will do that. They'll come in, wind up, and you're like, okay, bang, bang, and they're like, what? So what you're going to do, you're going to do this double strike. In the martial arts, especially kung fu systems, you strike from where the hand is. You never wind up. So this hand will then straight to the target. It gives the illusion that you're faster than lightning. But really what you did was you just took straight paths and you cut distance. So if I went like this, if I pull back, pull back, pull back, I'm just wasting time. But if I just punch from where my hand is, it looks faster. It's just, I'm cheating. So what happens is he blocks and punches. Now this hand's going to punch, and this hand opens up. And if we're getting technical, we don't have to. The whole idea is, can he block and punch? This hand goes straight in. So watch. OK, a little faster. So a little more aggressive. Okay. Boom. Come in. Boom. He gets him two times. So move a little bit over here. Hand, punch my hand, faster. 
Extend. Okay, fine. High five. Pop, palm strike. It's good. So, one, two. Two. Full extension. Really extend. Really extend. Really extend. Bam! Does that come in? Boom, boom! Go right here. Punch right there. One. Let's go slow. Go slow. One. Okay, block hard. Block hard. One, two. We're trying to do something in a few minutes that should take a half hour to an hour of just building that. Okay? If you build, already have someone with those skills, choreography is very quick, very easy. Like, what we're going to do, we're going to tonsil, we're going to double punch. Do you come in with this and do this? It's like, yeah, okay. Because they don't have to learn it, they already, they're good at it. So, for you guys, some of the things we can also get into is we can get all, get your, get in like a fighting position. So, <clears throat> what we can do also is work off a little more flashy stuff. So, if we wanted to get into trapping, what they call trapping hands, where you, you turn like this so they can see. If I'm knocking his guard down to hit him, in some kung fu systems that I really like, there's a whole science of knocking people's arms down who are trying to protect themselves. You're like, how is that defensive? Well, initially it's not. When they first start beating up, trying to attack you, and you stun them, and they go back and realize, wow, this person's really dangerous, they try to cover, you're like, oh no, you're not gonna cover up. I will take that away. So from here, you're going to strike down the arm and hit. And then what's cool is they have this whole science to be blocked. Block. So this hand's, a trained fighter has this hand here as a backup. You can imagine if Big Fist, if this was back here, and this hand's here, and it's like, well, it's fight. And I go, bang, bang, bang. I knock this arm down, it's his only defense. Get this other freaking hand over here, dude. <laughs> Open that up, because when I knock it down and I strike, he's going to block. Boom. So that's kind of a cool thing. So I come in, I want you to block that. I come in, okay, hands up. Hands up. Boom! And now we have like a quick little scene there, right? In the Chinese martial arts, they could go, he blocks, I trap and strike. So you could get into, boom, 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 trap in the arms. That's Wing Chun, okay? If we want to get into, um, other stuff, if I want to come in, do kicks, like kind of Muay Thai style, where I come in, boom, or spin kicks, however you want to do it. I'm getting old, getting fat, so it's hard. But, again, um, if you want to get into joint locks where we're twisting wrists, throwing people to the ground by twisting the wrist, controlling the limbs, the joints, that sort of thing we can coming in, breaking the arm so they, they have a weapon. So I come in, break, boom, really try to break it. It can turn, throw, take them down, okay? So he's had to put up with me all these years. <laughs> um, so, but whatever style you want to do, I will help you, okay? If you want your character to be more of a boxer, a street brawler, karate guy, I will help you choreograph something that looks, fits that specific character. So, Mr. Piper, so who has the control in these situations? Is it the person delivering the strikes? Or? No. So, totally the person who is the receiving the blows, especially when we're talking about wrist locks, being choked. It's different than in a martial arts class where I actually teach people, you put pain on someone and they tap and it hurts. That's the opposite here. So, if he grabs my wrist, so um, if he's going to just grab like a deck of cards here. So, what I'm going to do is like this. We're going to do this right here, wrist lock. So basically, if I grab him in a real self-defense situation, I'm going to crank paint on this, twist it, and slam him on his back by twisting this joint. When you're doing choreography, when you're doing it for film, this, I'm not really going to put pressure on him. He's just going to pretend that. So if I do this, and he's going to grab here, grab with the other hand. Okay, um, and right under the knuckles. So if he was twisted, if he starts twisting it, if we're doing real self-defense, I mean, he would crank it a little bit, crank it, keep cranking. So I'd feel like real pain, and I'm like, ow, ow. But in real life, what's gonna happen, or in the film, I'd rather, he grabs it, tight, hold tight, though. And just, and then you're just gonna follow me, whatever I do. Whatever I do, I want you to just follow me. But I'm the one controlling this, because I'm the bad guy, I'm the actor. So I go, ah, 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 ah. Oh. <laughs> right? And then and everyone's like, wow, that was 
doesn't really mean a fluke. <laughs> he did to his dad. <laughs> and really, he's just stupefied what I'm doing, right? If he was, we were talking about this earlier, like choking. He grabs me to choke me. He's going to hang on somewhat tight, but not, not where it really like, oh, like that, yeah, safe, Luke. No, but he's going <laughs> to no, grab me like this. And I'll be like, oh, oh, stop. And, he, and he's really stupefied because he's not doing anything. Or he's like this. He's got his hand like this. Now that time I pulled him, you can see it. <laughs> We'd have to choreograph it, but he's going to go follow me, like he's slamming me into the wall, but I get up on my toes. It looks like he's really doing that. It's all me, like, eh, look at me. But that's part of it. You can't, if we were in my martial arts school, all this stuff we would crank paint on each other and you'd have to tap and say, okay, how, 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 Because it has to work for real. Two <laughs> different worlds. In this world, the bad guy is the controller. The person who's the good guy throwing the moves, I shouldn't say bad guy, good guy. Whoever's executing the movements, the strikes, the takedown, they're not really in charge of, it's the guy who's doing the reaction. Whoever's the reactor. Because sometimes the good guy's reacting, sometimes it's the bad guy, back and forth. Excellent.